Hello and welcome to part 3 of Project Fast Fatty, where I convert a Nitro Revo over to electric. Since my last update I have also got both of my batteries, and I have also got the receiver mounted. Now for the batteries, I went pretty simple with them. They're just G-Force 4000 mAh batteries, 40C. They're just a, a soft case label, they're not a hard case. Um, and I have them running um, in series. Uh, providing me with a full 22.2 volts since there, there are two three cell batteries running in series um, the only thing I had to do was make this little uh, jumper cable I guess you would call it it's pretty simple I just a couple Dean's plugs and some nice wire came out pretty well works well I mounted the receiver pretty simply it's up in the front here, and then the antenna goes to a little short uh, antenna tube right there. Works with my 2.2 uh, gigahertz uh, Riados really well. So I do have a couple test runs in it. It goes pretty fast. It does wheelies like nothing. Um, I really don't know how fast it goes top speed. I haven't actually measured. But yeah, it's a, it's a quick little beast, that's for sure. Um, I blew through the first burger that I have in probably about 20 minutes. The first time that it went, it was just the motor had loosened up and swung out to uh, give a really loose pitch, so it just kind of blew through the top of the teeth. So I was able to move it back in and use some thread locker on the, uh, the screws to hold it in. And then, you know, that the second time it lasted all of, you know, 10 minutes. Um, so this... As you can see, the uh, spur gear is thoroughly used through. There's a little bit of the teeth left, but not much at all. So I, I obviously have to change that, and now I have a supply of a couple of them. Uh, so when it goes again, I can just switch it out. Uh, the other thing I had done was I kind of changed the motor mount a little bit. It's kind of a cheesy change I guess kind of a cheap way out for now but I wrapped the zip tie around the back of your and added another piece of plastic under here to support the back of the motor uh, part of the reason I think it kind of went so fast is I think this motor would flex up and down under full load from braking and accelerating so I decided to see if solidly mounting the back of the motor would uh, help my spur gear last a little bit longer uh, but that remains to be seen we'll uh, see how that works Ultimately, what I would like to do in the back is use a piece of uh, styrene that I have and uh, take and mount to the bottom of the chassis and then do a 90 straight up and then cut a big enough hole so I could slip the motor through and then obviously paint the plastic backs black so it looks good and use that as a saw mount as opposed to just you know a cheap zip tie. It would probably only end up just looking better, but we'll see how this we'll see how this goes. So I've got a better battery tray. Um, it looks kind of heck, just because of these uh, Velcro, but for reference, this is what I had used before for a battery tray. And then I just wrap zip ties around them. So this is a much better improvement. And it also actually encases the batteries, unlike this. Since these aren't, I'm not using a hard case lipo batteries. This gives them some nice protection so I can't puncture them. This is actually for some Duratrax vehicle, I'm not sure which one, but they fit the batteries, so that's why I got two of them, and then just sandwiched them together. The only thing I had to do to get those on there is I drilled a couple holes in the bottom to mount it, and then I just had to shave a couple, uh, or make a couple holes, rather, over here to get the wires slipped through. And it'll work out nice. Um, other than that, I haven't actually changed anything. Um... One thing that I would like to do is stiffen up or stiffen up the suspension a little bit, since it's very loose under like under braking. It literally, you know, the nose completely dips down and the back completely flops up like this. So I mean, it does uh, front flips just as easy as it does back flips. So I mean, that's kind of annoying. I'm gonna try and get a video up of it running. Uh, it could be interesting since it goes so fast. Um, other than that. Uh, this has been part three of Project Fast Fatty. Uh, give me a good thumbing and um, subscribe if you would.